As we shift to this fall season of transition, if you are finding yourself feeling anxious or distracted or maybe a little unstable, then check out this sequence where we focus entirely on balancing the vata energy. Hi folks, my name is Casey. I use the pronouns she, her. For this wild in Tacoma, we are at Wright Park right next to the W.W. Seymour Botanical Conservatory. Also near lawn bowling, a playground my kids and I come to, and at the pond just the other day, we watched a great blue heron for like five minutes. So this is a fantastic little nature escape in our beautiful city. This is a fall yoga practice balancing vata season. So according to Ayurveda, the sister science of yoga, fall is vata season. It is a season that is ruled by air and ether, and maybe you feel that when you're outside, you feel those winds of change swirling around, and then maybe you also feel that mentally. This can be a time where if um, you can start to feel a lot more anxiety or anxious or distracted or it's really hard to focus. So for this class, we'll be doing a lot of grounding poses, um, connecting to the earth to help feel more stability. So go ahead and come to your belly for Sphinx pose. And as you come to your belly, stack your elbows under your shoulders, press the tops of your feet down, palms face down, and if it feels better for you, you can always play your elbows out a little bit. Now lift your chest, and you could let this just kind of be passive, just melting into the earth. Feel your breath here. You could always make it a little bit more active by energetically drawing your elbows toward your hip bones. And then start to find some circles with your neck. So drop your chin, roll your ear to your right shoulder, and just slowly moving around. And you can go the other direction. If there's any crackly bits or stuck parts, you can always kind of linger there and move. Take one big inhale. Exhale, press yourself back to child's pose. So extended child's pose, spread your knees wide, sink your hips to your heels, and then ground your forehead either to your mat or your fists or even a block. If you live in a tight body during this practice, maybe keep your hips a little higher and you can come to your forearm. So this is a really nice option for child's can always bring your forehead to something here too. If your arms are extended, spread your 10 fingers wide and press your fingertips into the earth like you're drawing energy up from the earth. Take a few more breaths here and really try to feel your breath deep in your belly, but not just the front body. Can you feel it through your sides? and your back body as well. Then transition to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, and then just kind of pedal in here. It might feel nice to kind of bring your feet wide. As it starts to get colder, I start to get tighter in my body. So taking a little wider stance with your feet or adding a bend to your knees just may accommodate how your body feels in this new season. Then inhale, reach your right heel high, big stretch up. Exhale, lunge, step your foot between your hands and maybe you help your foot forward with your hands and lower your back knee down, settle into a grounded lunge. So you can keep your hands on the ground or even bring blocks for support. Maybe lift your hands to your front thigh and lift your chest, but I'm gonna invite you to keep your hands connected to something instead of reaching up to the sky, just for this practice, see how it feels. If you're already feeling a lot of this vata energy, 
and anxiety, just trying to ground all parts of your body to as many places as possible might help find some balance. Inhale. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Shift your hips back. And this is where blocks might be nice. So having blocks under your hands can kind of help lift you up. I'm on a little bit of a hill, so it's a little wobbly. And maybe you're experiencing that at home. You might not be on a perfectly flat surface. So make adjustments as you need. Draw your right hip back and feel the stretch on the back side of your right leg. Inhale, bend back into your knee, lift your chest. Then exhale, we're gonna set up for supported warrior two. So kickstand your left toes toward the side of your space and then open your arms wide like a T. So your right knee is bent, knee is tracking in line with your toes and then try to get wide through your chest. So often we do warrior two standing. You can still get the great stretch on your inner thigh and stabilizing in your core by being kneeling. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle, but supported. So bring your right hand either to a block or inside your mat. Your left hand can stay on your hip. It could reach up or it could sweep down and forward. And if you're still kind of warming up or if you don't wanna reach for the ground, you could always just prop your forearm on your thigh but sink your right glute close toward your right calf. Stay long through your sides. Inhale, supported side plank. Base your left hand at the back of your mat. Extend or straighten your right leg and then point your toes to the side. From here, your right hand could reach up or extend now toward the back of your space. Face your palm down. Inhale, exhale, plank. Plant your right hand down and step your left foot back. From high plank, know that you could lower your knees down as you reach the crown of your head toward the back of your space. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. So take that as slow as you can, again, with or without your knees, and then land soft. Point your toes, we'll set up for Cobra. Bring your hands outside your ribs, hug your elbows in, and really anchor down with your hips as you inhale, lift your chest. You can stay here or hover your hands and try to bring your wrists under your elbows and avoid a back bend. We're not crunching the low back. Can you get longer? Inhale, exhale, lower your forehead down. Inhale, high plank, press back up with or without your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left heel high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge, step through. Lower your right knee down and then take a little time here. Sinking into your hips, fingertips stay grounded or connected to your front thigh. Energetically drawing your left heel back and that'll fire up your adductor muscles so you'll feel your inner thighs kind of start to scissor or get really active. Inhale. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Straighten your left leg, shift your hips back, and then stretch over that leg. Now you can keep a little bend in your left knee, that's perfectly fine. And maybe you have those blocks to offer a little bit of support. Inhale, bend back into your left knee. Exhale, supported warrior two. Kickstand your right toes to the side of your space and then open wide. So we are on our knees for a little bit. So I forgot to mention earlier, but feel free to place a blanket under your knee. You could always roll up your mat. So get a little cushion. I'm on a soft bed of grass and fallen leaves. So um, it doesn't bother me, but wherever you are, find what you need as you sink into this variation of warrior two. Spread your fingertips wide. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, supported version. So just because we've got the back knee down doesn't mean this is easy. This is still really challenging as you sink into your hips. So 
find the stretch on your inner thigh or lower your fingertips down to the ground or a block. You can reach your right hand up or stretch toward the back of your space. Inhale, supported side plank. Base your right hand at the top of your mat as you turn your toes and your knee toward the side of your space. Left hand on your hip or reach up or reach forward. Bicep by your ear, palm faces down. Just try to find length through your side bodies. Inhale, exhale, high plank. Plant your palm, step your right foot back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower down slow. Inhale, cobra. Maybe your hands stay grounded. Maybe you hover away. Exhale, lower your forehead down. Inhale, high plank, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right heel high. Exhale, lunge step through. This time, keep your back knee lifted. Inhale, high lunge, lift your chest. So again, maybe stay supported on your front thigh or hips. Option to reach your fingertips up, option to opt out of that today if that's what you normally do. Bend into your right knee, firm up your back leg, and then draw everything into your inner unit like you're containing everything in at your midline. Inhale. Exhale, pyramid variation. Bring your hands to your ground or blocks as you straighten your right leg. Squeeze your inner thighs together. You can keep a little bend in your right knee. So similar to the half splits that we were doing earlier, as you fold over your legs. Inhale, back up to high lunge, lift your chest. Exhale, we're gonna lower your back knee slowly to the earth. So bend your back knee coming more to 90-90. We'll land soft in four, three, two, one, as you lower down, kickstand your back foot, open up warrior two. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle, sink in. Inhale, supported side plank or side plank, base your hand under your shoulder, step your left foot back, option to reach your right hand up. Full breath here. Inhale, exhale, high plank. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower down slow. Inhale, lift cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right heel high. Exhale, lunge, step through. Keep your back knee lifted. Inhale, high lunge, lift your chest and settle in on this side. As you take some pulses, really press in with your right big toe and draw your left hip back. Stay open in your chest and really sink into your front lunge. Inhale, exhale, pyramid variation. So forward folds can be soothing, they can be grounding, especially during this vata season, a lot of forward folds and different variations can help feel or help you find that stability that you may be looking for. Inhale, lunge, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down slow, bend your right knee. Kind of feel that 90-90 happening as you land soft in four, three, two, one. Kickstand your back foot. Inhale, open warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, supported side plank or side plank. Base your right hand under your shoulder. Step your left foot back. And you can stagger or stack your feet. Try to lift your left outer hip up toward the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down slow. Inhale, cobra. 
Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. One big breath, inhale. Exhale, lower to your knees. And have a seat. Sink your hips back to your heels. You could sit on your heels or sit on a pillow or a block. Take a moment here, maybe bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and just feel connected to your breath. That belly breath, front, sides, and back body. And then bring your hands together at heart center. Lift your thumbs to the center of your forehead, your third eye. We'll close with one final breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you for participating in this fall yoga practice, Balancing Vata Season. I hope that you're feeling a little bit more grounded, a little bit more stable and steady at the end of your practice than you felt at the beginning. And if you have a favorite posture or activity or technique to help balance Vata energy, then please share it in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Yeah, he's okay. Well, that's. <laughs> he's what they go south in winter. <laughs> if ever we're gonna have to have a talk about migration. <laughs> what are you teaching your kids? <laughs> All right, let's try and focus. <laughs>